What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lima C here, and today we're going to be talking about the Tesladin. This is the uh, slightly more expensive version of the Zealot. It is very fun. It is very high damage, can do a lot of content, um, and definitely just a fun character overall. So let's go ahead and jump in, and uh, I will show you guys a little bit about what we're rocking right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> right here right here perfect um okay so here is first the stats and skills i'm running enough strength for gear dexterity enough for max block uh, everything else into vitality pretty standard for our skills we have max conviction um max salvation max resist lightning this is because both of these are synergies to holy shock and then i run conviction uh, and then max zeal right now for my base uh, damage to hit right there. And then the other points here, I can either start putting into sacrifice for more physical leech damage right there. Or I can put it into holy shield uh, just to put a few more points and increase that like block chance up. So I don't have to put as much stuff in dexterity. That's kind of something I'm deciding on right now. I'll probably end up putting it into sacrifice. In terms of gear, this is where we are at. Um, we have our Grief, and we just needed a 32 IAS Grief. Um, so I just bought kind of like a cheap one, a 33, 373. Decent enough damage, and it hits the IAS that I need. We have a Dream Helm, of course, and a Dream Shield. This was in a 44 resistance base. Um, unfortunately, we only rolled plus 9 res on it. I guess you can't see that fully. Let me actually go here. And we'll just jam this up to the front so you guys can see it best. Uh, so we have the dream uh, shield right there. So it's 53 reds overall. Like I said, wish it was a little bit better, but that's okay. High Lords, Fortitude. Uh, like I said, the Grief, Laying of Hands, Raven Frost, Verdungos. Um, though string of ears totally also fine here. I have a 815 in my stash that I'm considering going back to just for more life leech. I don't know. Kind of like both. Um, just a random lifesteal uh, res ring right here. I might swap it around as well. Uh, I have a dual leech ring. I'll probably end up grabbing that as well or something and just using something along those lines. And then the classic gore riders. For the charms, uh, I just have some max damage lifer charms um for these and then i haven't filled in the remaining so these as well you can see are going to be like the 317 18s 311 16 310s, 16s right whatever um annie and torch uh and then these are just right now kind of random lifers and i'm jeeds and whatever because like i said i haven't finished out exactly with all of these charms we'll finish that probably later today for the mercenary he just has a treachery and dariel's and then I just have an insight here, just for some damage, and hey, meditation's not bad and stuff. Um, I'd, I'd say probably Eth Reaper's Toll is going to be best here. Now, something that also was a possibility and something that I was thinking about was getting my mercenary a um, uh, Faith, right? So going with an Act 1 mercenary and getting a Faith over there and stuff. But... The problem is, if we take a look over here and we go through and say, okay, so I'm using a phase blade and I'm using zeal and fanaticism. It was a level 15 faith that I had for my mercenary. The problem was I hit 44447 at 32 IAS, which I have 73 IAS right now. And if we take away all the fanaticism and show that same table, we can see at 72 IAS, I hit 44448. Four, 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 so I literally lose one frame on the last swing if I don't have fanaticism. So it doesn't really make sense to me to get fanaticism. I'd rather get an Act 2 Mercenary that has Might Aura, and that's just going to kind of be better overall for this character. We're not getting into the broken three-frame per attack swing and everything here. If we were doing that, we'd probably have to go uh, not run Conviction here, but run Fanaticism ourselves, give our Mertz Infinity, and then play around and do some more stuff here. But this is just a pretty 
uh, standard good old boy Tesla Din right here. Now, what's really great with this character, like I say, first off, the damage is just super high. You also have a really strong pulsing damage as well. So you can see that already, um, you know, just the pulse damage is enough to kill a lot of stuff. And this is hell right here. Just literally not even attacking anything. Just by moving around. I mean, this is Hell Act 5. Like, it is very, very strong high lightning damage. Um, so, that's super nice. And of course, Hell Lords just don't take any rank because they're just awful. So, it's very strong just to, like, start off and, and just say that. Additionally, you, of course, have very good attack. You have ignore target defense from grief. So you're going to be able to uh, kill a lot of stuff. Yeah, I can I can uh, move this back down. You're going to be able to kill a lot of stuff as well. Um, and you have some leech as well, of course, with all your added damage. Your life leech is going to be solid. Like I say, if you want even more, I just have this like 6% life steal right there. Um, but of course, if I want even more life leech, I can always stack up even more life leech from the string of ears. I can get a higher charm, whatever it all is. Um, something else that's super nice about this character, if I can have it go off. Oh god, I don't know if I want to fight these guys. Uh, but something else that's super nice about these, this character is you have a chance to cast Confuse on Struck, which is actually super nice. So, if you look at your dreams, it's 10% chance to cast level 15 Confuse. And you have that twice right there. And so, the really nice part about that is, when you're just getting hit, if these guys will hit me, I mean, I'm killing them before it's even going off. It's kind of like the problem here. But, when that goes off, uh, mobs are going to just get confused. And they're going to start attacking each other and just kind of going all around. And it's just really, really nice. Um, and so it ends up being being pretty solid overall uh, and kind of helpful just in some like super dangerous situations but I feel like this character doesn't really run into a lot of dangerous situations you know I mean he just kind of murders everything and uh, does it very well this is of course players one but um, we were doing some like players eight stuff earlier and it was also su super easy way too easy Additionally, your resistances are just going to be beautiful. So you can see 75, 90, 75 right there. Um, you're just going to have absolutely amazing resistances, which is fantastic. Uh, you have this high level of conviction as well, so you can actually go and do some Ubering. So if I... Uh, we can just go back home and, like, maybe do a little... I guess I would need Drax for that, so maybe I'll get a pair of Drax. Does anybody have a pair of Drax? How may I be okay? <clears throat> um, you know, so things like that. I probably have another pair and another character, honestly. Llama 11, password 11, if you have a pair of Drax. What are they worth? Full, um, Mal? They're worth a Mal? Good lord, things are way too expensive. They'll cut my 20 IS gloves? Yeah, but when I'm fighting Ubers, that's okay. I can't carry anymore. Alright. Well that works. Thank you. 7% Ufa. It's all good. You wanna fight, Doctor? Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we'll do a quick little fight thing and then we can go try Ubers out. Love the pulsing. Cool. Um. Yeah, I got. 
That's going to be tough, being lightning against a, a, a dream paladin. Stealing from chat. What are you talking about? All right, so. Let's go and look at how the Ubers kind of play in from this character right here. And obviously, once again, we're not running T-Gods. We're not running any of the Sorb, any of that stuff. Um, we are just killing some Ubers and checking it out. Just showcasing a little bit of the Tesla didn't build here. Okay. Terror, hate, destruction. And I feel like worst case, you can always just fall back on smiting. If like anything, everything goes bad. We have a grief. We have smite. We have a fortitude. Whatever. We're good. Oh, wait, I just realized I don't have my uh, Jax on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Our defense is high enough, he's not even really hitting us. We'll put him on for someone else. Nice and slow. Okay, there's the eye. Yeah, our attack rating is a little low. I might, we lose the deadly strike, but I might just put the angelics on. Boost it up a little bit. Honestly, I just need better uh, attack rating charms. 79.34. Do a quick little swap -roo. It's a little bit more attack rating. And oh, I have a wisp. Hey, look at that. Uh okay. Impossible. Excuse me. No, a mercenary. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have the Drax on, but I guess we can use them. I mean, it's not really feeling that necessary, though, you know? Like, that was actually pretty, uh, pretty strong. Totally fine. Uh, okay, so now we lose the 40 IAS, which is still okay. We just we're still on that one frame below. Good afternoon. Are we gonna proc him? Why did we put him on? No, we, we, we casted Confuse. We didn't cast, uh, <laughs> we never got the Drax to proc. <laughs> Whatever. You can see the strength already, right there. Who needs the proc? Excuse me. And there goes the Confuse. And once again, just like, super helpful having that Confuse, honestly. Oops. Super helpful. I'm used to teleporting this map, not running it. Yep, we got it. We'll slow ourselves down a tiny bit for uh, visual. And you can see this is, you know, they're immune to everything, but our physical damage is still strong enough. That's going to be just fine. Did he teleport over? Where did he go? Did you guys see him teleport at all? Yeah. 
Ishual, hello. Guys, where's Ishual? Where did he go? I mean, I went past him earlier. Oh, there he is. Ugh. Decrepify is nasty. Kill the pit lords. Okay, and we don't have goblin toes on and, you know, as much all the crushing blow and stuff. But that's okay. Can you kill physical plus lightning immunes with this build? That one might be difficult. But you know how many physical lightning immunes you're going to run into? Not many. And conviction generally should break it. I mean, there's going to be some exception where it won't. Cow King. Yeah, Cow King, I guess. Okay, let's go get Mephisto. And like I say, see here, resistance is still doing okay. Though actually, I shouldn't have any dip on my resistances. Hmm, that's actually really interesting. Oh, I changed my gear around. That's right. We have Angelics on and stuff. Okay, yeah. I was like, yeah, his his conviction shouldn't work because my conviction is higher level than his. So it actually overwrites Mephisto's conviction and only he gets convicted against. But I can't, I can't be convicted. Nice and simple. Grab ourselves a bale. My brothers will not have died in vain. Come here, buddy. I'm just saying, I can't. You shall not convict me! Fail being a little slow. Honestly, it really doesn't even feel like we need the Drax. The IAS, maybe. Whoa, how did Diablo come out here? All right, well, we'll just fight both of them, I guess. Tesla and good for players five to seven. Yeah, he's, he did fine. Diablo came in and joined the party. All right, now Diablo is being annoying because now he's he letting Bale heal because my open wounds didn't proc. Well, that, that's just annoying. All right, let's kill Diablo then. It's the only annoying part. We don't have a high enough chance from open wounds because our gore riders just have a little bit of it, so. Stop it, I'm just trying to kill one of you. Turn to die, Bale. Yeah, I mean, everything can fall off. That's okay. Is it the fastest kill? No, Smiter's still gonna be stronger. But, 
That's always gonna be the case, you know. Has it been a pretty dang safe kill? Would I feel totally comfortable doing this in hardcore? A thousand percent. I my life has never been uh, in any harm whatsoever. There's been no worries. Even Mephisto, we can just walk up to him and just kind of do whatever we want. You know, Smiter too good. Yeah, Smiter very good. But for just a dude who's chilling. He don't do too bad. He does not do too bad at all. The torch away. So that is the Tesladen on Ubers. I can't. I put it in the wrong stash. Wrong one. That is the Tesladen right there, though. Very simple, nice and fun. And uh, like I said, really, I, I just, I just don't ever feel like I'm in danger with this character. Plus, the pulsing is is just so much. I mean, that's true with a lot of a lot of paladins, though, right? They're just kind of overall very strong feeling. You just feel like wherever you go, you can go to the Travancore. And you should, you know, normally, you know, you might be a little bit scared at the Trav or whatever. But here, you, you're just not. You just kind of walk up and you do a ton of damage. And everything's just dead in, in half a second. And, uh, you know, if they're immune to a couple things or one thing, then the other... It's not really a, wor a worry about it, right? Uh, you know, I just kind of want to run around and kill some stuff just to, like, showcase the build a little bit, right? Show you guys some of the, the strength and the damage and all the pieces because it really is a very, very solid character overall. And like I said, if you're really itching for more boss kill stuff and whatever you can honestly just have uh let me you can just have like smite you know because you still you still smite for a ton of damage as well so you can use that to always make sure you're hitting bosses and stuff so then you can kill bosses super fast as well right So, I mean, that that also works. It's not going to be as fast on, like, all these mobs. But, you know, if I had smited on the uh, monsters, on, on the Ubers and stuff, it would have gone by even faster. Right. Quick cows. I actually don't have cows set, so we can't do, we can't do quick cows. But I'm just, I'm just going around area level 85, things like that. Just, just kind of showing off the, the strength of the build here. Showing the beauty of that, which is the Tesladen. In terms of price, like I said, overall, it's a little bit more expensive than a Zealot. It's not going to be near as crazy as some of the other IES builds, like that Proxen or the uh, the Bear or any. Honestly, a lot of the the characters that we built recently have all been extremely expensive. Yeah, can solo bail. You can solo the whole game with this character for sure. So you can go to any area, which is really one of the nice things about this character. If you want to run around the ancient tunnels, you can run around the ancient tunnels. If you want to go to bail, you can go to bail. If you want to do Mephisto running, Trav running, I mean, you can literally go to any section um, and not have issues. Because once again, if you're into light immunes, first off, your conviction might just break it, which is going to be true for a lot of light immunes. But additionally, uh, you might just, uh, you'll, you'll just be able to kill it anyways. You have really high physical damage as well. And so you're not going to really run into, like, too many problems there. Right. So really, uh, really a great build for a decent price. I mean, the expensive is going to be, you need a low rune here, a, pull, a, a jar rune here, a jar rune here, and a low rune here. 
So, two lows, two jaws. Oh, I don't have these things changed out yet. Um, you know. And then, obviously, getting, like, these charms can be expensive. But, you know, if you get some more of those, that can always be nice. It's not too bad. Laying of hands aren't bad. High Lords isn't that bad. Raven's not that bad. So, low, low, jaw, jaw. I mean... It's not the cheapest build. A standard Zealot's gonna be a little bit cheaper because you're gonna be dropping the need for these expenses right here. You'll also, you know, maybe want CT and stuff, but once again, all those things, not too bad. Um, do we want to ID this torch? Is that what we're doing? All right, I guess YouTube's gonna yell at me if we don't ID this torch. Place your bets. Go down to the comments right now and post what you think the torch is gonna be and then reply to your comment after that if you were if you were close right something like that but post what you think it's gonna be in the comments down below we're gonna ID, ID in five four three two one nope it's in the shared stash ah 1318 Amazon boo unfortunate well, did you get it right? If you did, dang you for betting on on that. If you guessed wrong, well, you have to subscribe. I don't make the rules. That's just what the rules say. It says right there, must subscribe and ring the bell. So I guess you got to do that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that for those of you who get to make this build, you have a little bit of fun with it. Go play around. Have a good time. For those that are uh, just watching and enjoying, thank you very much. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. Mwah. Peace, YouTube.